Hey there y'all. Disney D Prince here today and today I am going to unbox and review the last of the Barbie Hearts the Ocean uh, doll accessory furniture kits. Uh, this is the lounger. It is the one that I had the most trouble finding surprisingly enough. These are the uh, Barbie furniture and dolls and clothings that are made from recycled ocean-bound plastics. Uh, the fabric is made from recycled plastic and it's recycled plastic, uh, recycled uh, packaging. It does have some instructions on the top for how to uh, put everything together, everything that's inside the box. It does show you what's in the box on the back. It looks like we're getting a lounge chair, the umbrella, another towel, a little mixed drink, some sunglasses, I think that's a phone, a bucket, a, a shovel, some sunglasses, a towel, and I think that's supposed to be a starfish. And it does show you the other ones that are on here. Uh, and it's got a cute little emblem on the side. Shows you some more in-depth photos. Yeah, that does look like a phone. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get it open. These open up pretty easily because they are just cardboard. There's no, uh, there's nothing super uh, crazy hiding in there. It does have just like another thing of cardboard under it. And that's it for the unbox. Okay, so this is actually different than I thought it was going to be. This is fabric. This is not a full. This is not a full plastic uh, umbrella. See, it's got some give to it. This is actually like an actual umbrella, which I'm kind of impressed because I honestly didn't think Mattel would do this. This is how the rest of it's kind of packaged in there. Uh, we're just gonna pop this open. Pull it apart. This is the umbrella pole. We do have the first part of the beach lounger. And then we're gonna take this part off. This is the, uh, the back part of that. And then they really do like to put these little uh, bags in here that are then like sealed. These are like sandwich paper bags, but let's see. So here's our towel in comparison to the purple towel that we got in the other set. It is the same size, which is still a little too short to be an actual towel. Here is the base for the umbrella. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I set the actual umbrella on there. And so that's the height for that. Again. It's a little short to be an umbrella umbrella for them, but this is definitely designed to be sitting down. So we've got this part that clips in, which is the chair. Oop, must have nudged her. She was sitting there all nice and purty. She said, I want to try out that chair. It looks comfy. And we will get to you in just a minute, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. And then apparently you clip this on like that. And then we put these on like this. Oh, well, 
make sure that that's in there first. And there's a little clip under there to hook that in. And there's another clip right there. And so this does fold up like that. But that part pops out. And so let's try her on there. Her little swimsuit cover up came off because she is ready to tan and so that's how that works and she does have some little cup holders and here's her sunblock because she's responsible but she's also like a millennial so we're gonna put her little cell phone in her hand and then here's the little bucket. And here's the shovel. More appropriate for like a Kelly doll. That's fine. I think this is supposed to be like a one of those sand molds that kids use at the beach. So that's what we've got. And it's very cute. It's just a little short for a Barbie actually. Because this is not a tall body. And let me show you what it looks like when Ken sits in it. I'm gonna set her back up on her bar stool. Hopefully she's not too tipsy. Okay, and here's the Ken that I updated his head the other day. Say hi, Ken. So he does fit in it. About the same, you know. Not too terribly overhang on that. So he does work, so the chair does work for Barbie and Ken. So that's how that goes. And then this is kind of how they look all together. Like we've got the beach bar, the little uh, surf shack or whatever it's called, the sun shack. And there's the uh, volleyball net in the background and the ice chest, and our little umbrella. So, I mean, it's ready to go. This is some cool accessories. I do think they kind of overpriced this set, being what it is, considering they have that little, uh, the little beach chair set, that's just the chair and some sunglasses. And that's like five. I think this should have been more in like the $7 range because there's not that much to this set. Like there's a chair and this umbrella is three pieces. So maybe they overpriced, but it's still a fun little set. And you can get multiples of these if you want to set up like a little resort. Because you really only need one of this one, one of the Surf Shack and one of the volleyball, but I could see myself buying another one of the, uh, another one of the loungers. Let me see if there's an actual name on this. Beach Day is what it's called, Beach Day. Uh, but I could see myself buying another one of these when they go on sale, maybe two or three more, just so I could have like an actual Beach Day set up with the, uh, with the surf shack and everything. Have a little top gun movement over here with the volleyball. But it's a great little uh, it's a great little set. It works well with the others. I'm sorry you can't really see the whole of it because of just how my camera likes to automatically zoom. Like if I was taking a picture, you'd be able to see this whole area. But, unfortunately, it does not want to cooperate like that. But, anyway. 
so the beach day is a cute little set I don't really think I mean these are cute little like like little Ray-Bans like you could stick these on Ken kind of but the fact that they're not see-through I hate that like if you're gonna make sunglasses make them transparent but it does match the little uh, boom box over there this is kind of a useless piece I cannot see this getting used unless a kid is actually playing with this in the sandbox because there's not a way to attach this for Barbie. Uh, so yeah. The bucket is a cute little accessory. Uh, maybe more appropriate for a Chelsea Beach Day set than a Barbie set because this bucket is the size of her hand. It's not much bigger. If this was an adult sand kit, like just compared to the, uh, to the shovel size, this bucket should be about 50% bigger, I think. But I really like the umbrella. I like the fact that it's fabric. And look at that, he does cast shade on it. So that works. It is a functional umbrella. The towel, on the other hand, I kind of wish they had done this in orange or pink so you could really see that Malibu like you can on the purple because it really just blends in too much with the neon yellow and the white. But again, this is not an appropriate size for a towel. Like it barely is long enough to cover his legs. Like if we were to sit Ken on the chair and make Barbie lay on the towel. Let's see. Even if we were going to crisscross applesauce her legs, she barely fits on that towel. Like, just like that, she barely fits. Like, and most beach towels, you're gonna wanna lay out on them. Her joints are still a little stiff because I only recently rebodied her. So let's give her a, a little uh, beach heyday. See, that's where her, it covers from her shoulders to her knees. That is not long enough for a beach towel. This is like a Kelly sized beach towel, beach towel. Or not Kelly, Chelsea, I'm sorry, Chelsea. It still blows my mind that they changed the little sister's names. Uh, but we do have two of those towels, so you do have like lounging area for like three dolls when you buy all three of these. But, so I mean, that's how it looks. They look cute. I'm not mad at it. But, it's a, uh, it's one of the things I think I'm a little bit happier with this, with the beach day set, than I am with the volleyball set. I like the volleyball set, but I don't love the volleyball set, because I feel like there could have been more to it. Like I feel like these should have just been a set together, and they should have included one of the dolls and just charged me $30 for it, and I would have been fine with it. But this one, the uh, the Beach Shack is the star of this line. It's easy to put together. It's got a lot of fun accessories. Um, and you know, it's it's a focal point for a uh, for a play area, which is nice. So that is what is going on with the Barbie Loves the Ocean Beach Day Accessory Pack is the word I was looking for earlier. Accessory Pack. Uh, so $10 at, or $9.99 technically, at Walmart and Tar or at Target. I don't think I've found it at Walmart so far. So it may go a little bit cheaper at Walmart, maybe $8.99. But that's pretty much bottom tier pricing as it is. But for the volleyball set, maybe wait unless you actually like volleyball or you want to stage a top, a top gun scene with all of your made to move Kens. Uh, but yeah, 
that's how it goes and let me know if you want any other info on the Barbie Loves the Ocean. I have not gotten the other two dolls yet, the regular Barbie and the uh, and the Teresa because Teresa is a very funky skin tone so she does not match the other medium tan skin tones for made to moves that are out there and Barbie is nothing exciting and I don't really want her outfit so I'm not super interested in getting her because every time I've seen her this is the Barbie in question she has been just kind of ratchet looking and kind of the same thing for the Teresa's that I've seen and she is on a uh, she is on a curvy body though but again these outfits are nothing to write home about I wanted this one and I got her because she is a deep dark skin tone that matches the uh, that matches the darkest uh, made to move Barbies so I was really excited to uh, get her onto a curvy body but yeah so that's how that works that is the entirety of the Barbie loves the ocean accessory line it is a fun pack and if you are a fan of the beach or if you didn't get to go on vacation this year this is a great way to trick yourself into thinking maybe you did so this has been disney d prince signing off thanks y'all